anyway, the next matchup will be coming up in just a moment. Tokido versus Fudo. Evil champion Fudo. Fudo as Mika. Tokido as Ryu. Tokido has looked the most consistent to me this whole tournament despite being sent to the losers. The wall of Ryu. That's been his style. Even managed to match Daigo in the fireball game, something that he's very strong at. At one point, they were chucking plasma point blank at each other. Winning those wars is scary. But if you can do it, you see the result. Nice back dash. Solar plexus blow. That was a very optimal punish. And another Tatsu. Wonder what he was looking for there. Perhaps that is a great way to beat the wake up command grab. Nice punish. Stand short into the Tatsu. And again. Again Tatsu. That has to be an anti-throw tactic, huh? It's working well. Scoop. One, two, three. Eat my peach. Great meaty setups. Eat the crush counter. You can't get away so easily. No, you are dead, sir. Eat my damage. This is going to taste so good. Setups. Stayed in front. And Tokido still in the game. Very smart by Fudo there taking the hit so that he does not get the guaranteed guard crush. But still, that stun is looming. Great air to air by him. Ouch. Again. Got him. Fudo's got oh wow, that did not kill. Low short closes it out though. Low short seems to be a really good finisher for Fudo when the opponent is near death. Does not do a lot of damage, doesn't really give you any big combo follow ups, but a good little finisher, especially when the opponent is trying to jump or search for other options. Drop kick, got the link. Nice fake out into regular throw. Oh, he tried to anti-air that with an EX. Still got a chance. He was unfazed by the miss there. Oh, that was nice. And Tokido. Smelling that he can survive this one. Still at mid-screen. Nice EX fireball. I believe that the mic only armors one hit. Setups. Uh, that was a pretty, pretty safe setup. Fudo has not gone for anything too crazy in trigger mode. I feel like perhaps he may have wanted to save that for a better opportunity. Tokido not fearing too much anymore. Just has to watch for this super. Oh, he messed up. He messed up. He messed up. Block it out. Nice. Even smarter. Great V reversal. Did not have to take any chip and eat this gray life. Oh, neutral jump by Tokido. Man, Fudo had control of that match, but Tokido just chose a good moment. Fish PS wonders why did Tokido not super? I also wonder about that. Okay. Yeah, if you block it, it guard crushes. That is correct. That's what the Denjin mode super does. Ouch. Anyway, Fudo's looking good right now. And then that backdash happened. Backdash not commonly used on Wake Up in Street Fighter 5 because it has no invincibility, unlike Street Fighter 4. However, it is still throw invincible. Big combo. Crack. Oh, okay, cool. That was sick. I thought that he had mistimed it, but no, that was just his combo setup. 
Oh no, optimal punish. And Fudo almost, almost smart with that. Reacted to the fireball and tried to armor through. However, just a bit too far. And no, Tokido is no longer Mad Cat sponsored, and I believe that neither is Mago San. So unfortunate so far in these games for Fudo. A couple of things that have happened. Nope. Okay, this time we wake up down jab. Not an option you want to do too often, but a good way to stop that Tatsu. Drop kick. Tokido's got a big lead again. Drop kick. No, get off. When they're two plus frames, that might be when it is time for a V reversal. Sure, you can. Plus frames again. And Fudo takes advantage to try and get close. Crouch HP. He's got to do a lot of damage. He's got to do it fast. I have no idea how he's going to pull this off. Okay, that is a start. Tuck him in, chuck him in the corner. Nope, nope, nope. Dash up low, medium punch. Before Fudo could even decide on this next action, Tokido was already back in his face. Poking him out. Round number one, game number two, game number three, sorry. So far, Tokido has been pretty dominant in these sets, primarily thanks to a couple of small, small mishaps that became something big on Fudo's part. Neutral jump again. Shimmy attempts failed. Oh, that was big. That was a big mistake for Tokido. Fudo takes advantage. Cool combo. EX with the tick. The stun is building up. Nice. We get a stun. Full jumping combo. Hopefully no meter required. Yep, did not need it. That's good because she did not have a bar available. Round two. Nice standing roundhouse and a good back chuck. Also controlling space really well with the EX Fireball to stop the forward movement. Another try. Irish whip the other way. Three. Sure you can. That is it. That post tattoo mix up looks so simple, but it's very, it's got a lot of depth to it. Uh, after the tattoo, they can go for roundhouse, they can go for the grab, they can choose to go for like a shimmy or something. It's quite deceptive. It looks simple, but I promise you, it's very annoying to deal with from any good Ryu player. Okay. Neutral jump worked out pretty well for Fudo there. He's trying to keep control. It's quite difficult for him to deal with that crouching medium punch and the many well-placed fireballs of Tokido. Crush counter, that is a start. Nice. Follow-ups. Kept the mid-screen. Sure you can. Don't think that was a leak. Oh, oh my goodness. Nice alpha counter, that was smart. And a good, good close out there. Tokido possibly trying to evade. 2-1. You can. Nope. 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 And that is the hazard of using those uppercuts. Most of the big uppercut style reversals have that property. 
you are always in crush counter state when you land. And that means big punishment. Big prizes. Fudo's recovering this quite well. Really liking what I see. He's got the round lead in game number four. Nice. Dash under, dash up. Scoop, great jump too. You did too many of those EX fireballs on wake up and now I am aware that that is your tactic. Stun is looming once again. Had to activate there to keep the sweep safe. Nice. Straight to the super, that is the game. It is hot dog time. Delicious buns. Two, two. Let's go, Fudo. Round one. So this was almost looking like it would be a clean sweep for Tokido. But you know, gods versus gods. They recover quite well. Great sweep. Tatsu again. Don't try to grab me. Another Tatsu. Finally, we can get a real punish. And that is very, very telling that that is probably the first time that he's blocked that. Goes to show you how often people do not block in Street Fighter V, huh? Tokido still sealing that round. Okay, a little late on the jump and attempt there. Nice try though. Tatsu. Wake up pokes. Neutral jump again. Right when he went to dash up scoop. Trades with the roundhouse. And Tokido's playing this quite patiently. He smells danger. He knows that Fudo has the trigger available. Uh, the next combo might actually build enough for him to gain super as well. So even... Th oh, nice finish. Nice finish. Tokido. He will advance. Held strong. And that was beastly. So it looks like Tokido will be eliminated from the tournament. He will get 7th place. Tough one for him. Uh, next up, we're gonna have Ata up against Punko, and this will be this will be uh, probably the most interesting match of this first round of top eight. We have Ken versus Kami slash Guile, and Punko, the the lone person not from Japan in this top eight, the lone person. Taiwan did have some great representatives. They did crack into the top 16, but fell just outside of the top 8. Alright, here we go, guys. Hope you guys are hyped for this one. Should be very good.